All right, Geekiness 101. Geekiness 101 is, I have one reference, two reference, three reference, four reference. Ah, which one do I use? You can use any of them. They're all good. They're all the same. So an engineering reference, for example, for Euler buckling, which I'm putting the equation on the top, is essentially right here. Force to buckle equals the pi squared EI, which is the flexural rigidity, divided by the length squared. Now, because of the boundary conditions, and this is what it is, or they're called n constant condition, or they, in some references they call them the effective length factor, these things can change, okay? Just depends whether they're putting that constant on the top or the bottom. So right here, if you use this equation, you can actually turn that EI, the flexural rigidity, in terms of an EA. And that's via the radius of gyration here. Now, if I use that, that's analogous here. Instead of being the force, which is the P critical, they actually have it as sigma, and then you get the, that A, and you go, go up there, little sucker. And then you end up with the same equation over there, which is using this as the radius of gyration, and then you go back down. Here's another reference that does the same thing, okay? Here's the pi squared, EI, KL squared, and that's how they're changing. And this one actually has a really cool just little diagrams to show you what the effective uh, lengths are and why they're they're called that way. And that effectively, if you have a one end pin and one fix, this is two wavelengths. And then you have good old Shigley's, where Shigley's just says, "Okay, here it is. F critical pi." square EI over L square, and I'm just going to bundle everything into a C up there, and then here's the table. The critical thing, this is to be used with this table right here. Do not try to use this table with this equation here. It's going to go bad, okay? So make sure that your reference, the equations and how those constants are being defined are using only with the tables that are within the same reference or that you know that they're compatible. Otherwise, you're going to end up getting yourself in trouble.